So, if you've been on this channel for any point in time, you would know that my Oxford videos are kind of a big deal. These are the ones that have traditionally done very well. It was kind of my first time where I got a lot of views on a video, and this video will just kind of be a compilation of some clips that I didn't actually end up using in those, but have been holding on to for a while, and kind of just an assortment of stories from my time there. So if you like that, if you think that's interesting, feel free to stick around, and I would also love it if you could subscribe. There's a lot of people here I know that watch but don't necessarily subscribe, so if at the end of this video you end up liking it, feel free. And without further ado, let's get on into my Oxford clips and stories. So this clip is me at Tesco. This was on the very first day I was there, and I really love Tesco. I literally miss it so much in the U.S. The fact that I can't have my fizzy strawberry lances, I believe they're called, is actually so sad. And so this clip is definitely giving me a lot of nostalgia, I guess. Alright, so this is also day one. I mentioned this in my video, but this was kind of where we had like our introduction ceremony, but they also had an art gallery going on at the same time. It was so pretty in here, and I really loved it. I came back like once after the opening day. Okay, so this was on one of our days of class. We walked out to this coffee shop, which was super cute, and we kind of just like shared some of our writing out loud and worked there. But my favorite part was kind of the walk like out of the city and back, which is like the rest of these clips. I think it's so pretty. And just like the nature surrounding the city, you can't really tell when you're inside the city, but it's quite accessible more so than you'd even realize. I feel like this is just kind of pure Oxford chaos. I saw this guy a lot, and I'm just gonna let you listen to the performance because I just. <laughs> this day okay so this was one of my favorite things we did literally the whole time we were there so we had a choice we had a choice if we were either going to go to stonehenge which is kind of insane or blemming palace and majority of people chose to go to stonehenge but i was so happy that i chose to go here and you'll see why by looking at these clips it is so beautiful it was insane inside i went with my friend audrey and we had the best time also, the amount of real estate that this castle actually has, like the grounds were insanely expansive. My friend and I literally walked like for so long and we found our way to this hedge maze. It was just a ton of chaos and we like literally nearly got lost right before we had to leave. And so this day was just like one of my favorites overall. Not only was it insanely beautiful, but we just had the best time. I had such a great time with my friend Audrey. I love you, Audrey. Um, also, you may recognize this place from Bridgerton. I literally just watched the like Queen Charlotte show and lo and behold, first episode, I'm like, huh, that looks familiar. And it is because that's blowing. figured this was just something I had to mention. So this actually still haunts Audrey and I to this day. We literally talk about it all the time. If you've seen any Putney photos on social media, this one has been used in their ads all the time. And there we are at Fleming sitting there. Everything looks normal, right? Everything looks great. Until you look closer. Look at my hand. I will never live this down. I have no idea what I was doing. What I was holding, but something about that claw will haunt me literally forever. Okay, to give some context for these clips, we were punting, which means it's kind of where you push a boat with a stick, 
it's just about what it sounds like and we made some duck friends and as you will see we did end up going in the river at the end it was so fun Fucking God. <laughs> you guys are After that boat chaos, these are some clips of us doing an audio tour of the Bodleian. We basically kind of just walked around inside it and listened to the audio thing while we walked. So that's that. So here I am, peacefully writing in these gardens, right? Yeah. So then I leave my spot eventually to go find my friends and the people in my class, and I walk along the river right where we were going hunting the day before. And what do I see? I see a boat full of like Italian teenagers about my age, and they see me, and they're like, jump on the boat! And I'm holding my like iPad that's very expensive, and I'm like, no, no, like I can't. I you know, whatever, don't want to wreck my thing. And they're like, jump on, jump on. And I like, it was just the most random thing in the world. <laughs> because I just remember going to my classmates afterwards and being like, yeah, so I did just get told to jump on the boat. And all my friends are like, Emma, why did you not do it? Okay, so this was actually very close to the time when I left, but it was like the oldest tower built in Oxford and you have to pay like, I think it was like 10 euros to go up in it, but you can see the entire city. And so this is my view from there when I ended up visiting. Oh man, so I have to give some context for this one because otherwise it's just not going to be understandable. So, J.O., one of our favorite like program people, she was on the staff of the summer program, took us to this recital at Exeter. It was a piano recital. We kind of didn't really know what it was going to be about, but we knew it was going to be in the chapel at night. So we were all very excited. So we get there and the guy kind of shows up. Obviously, he's got this really cool piano. He was a super talented musician, but before he would play a song, he would give us kind of a spiel about what it was about. And very quickly into this activity, we realized that he was playing songs made by musicians when they were under the influence of either drugs or alcohol. And the person that took us there, Jaya, was literally the sweetest. She was one of our favorite like program people. She was always super kind to the students, super nice to us. She actually checked up on me that first day when I was sick, if you remember from my Oxford vlog. But poor Jaya was sitting there horrified and all of us were literally trying so hard not to laugh because clearly she had had no idea that this was what it was going to be about. But nevertheless, we had such a great time and I'll let you listen to some of this music because it was truly like an ethereal experience. Welcome to the most elusive, exclusive oh, yeah. Did you say elusive? Jay, say hi. Elusive. Hello. Can I say hi? Hi. 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 So once again, Jaya, the best, ended up taking us to Christ Church, which is her college, and kind of showing us around. So this is clips from that. We also got to see Harry Potter Great Hall, which will be next.
yeah so that is the end of the video i really hope you guys liked it this was kind of just like some assorted clips that i didn't actually end up using in my video i really do miss it i had the best 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 time here thank you so much again to oxford academia for creating such a cool experience and putney as well i'll truly never forget this trip and i'm so glad to be able to share it with you guys as well because in these videos i know i'll never forget Again, if you enjoyed, please subscribe and thank you for watching and being a supporter of my content. I miss Oxford and thank you guys so much for enjoying all this content about it. This is actually the last bit of clips I have, so until next time, Oxford. <laughs>